Hey everybody, I'm assuming you saw how easy it is to create a parcel fabric and add parcel types and then you're like, well, it's not really useful if I don't have my data with my fields in that parcel fabric. So let's see how you can do that in the next video. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is add a folder connection. Just right click, add folder connection. I have the path already saved, so I'm just going to paste it in and that's going to make it easier for me to navigate to my data. In this case, I have a shape file. So let's have a look how it looks. I'll add it to a new map. And we'll see my parcels. Those are just polygons. And by the way, shape are an evil format. They destroy your curves. They limit you. There's no domains, very short fields and so forth. But they look great. Here's a sample data of my parcels. And if we right click, and go to my data design fields we'll see that we have some fields here that we would like to take into my new parcel fabric we've just created into my polygon into my parcel class so how do we do that well it's really simple go to the parcel fabric polygon class you want to apply this schema to right click and do exactly the same data design fields let's put them side by side And now we already have a name field and a name field that matches great so, but everything else i'm just gonna go ahead and copy select right click and copy and come to my target new polygon feature class and say paste easy but don't forget to save that basically saves all those fields definition into your target schema why is that important because when we soon append the data if there's a value in any of those fields, it will find the matching field and it will just append them in. Okay, so we've done that. We extended the parcel schema. We can extend any feature class here. We can extend the lines. Um, one thing that people sometimes do is also create a domain on the records. So let's look at the records data design field here. And one of the fields here is called a record type and there's no domain here add a coded value domain let's do that it takes me to the domain view let's give it a meaningful name we'll call it record type it must be of the same type so it's already a long that will be my the record types basically and we can add values so maybe one stands for a merge and a two for a split and a three for a subdivision and a four for boundary resurvey or boundary line adjustment you get the hang of it right you can add as many values as you want let's get rid of the last one here and press save that creates the domain if we switch here we save again and it will update that with a record type that will mean that when i add a new parcel type a new record sorry it will always have this drop down that let me choose between those record types we've just created so that's another common thing people do and you can of course extend any of those feature classes with additional things like uh, contingent values and attribute rules and so forth but we're not going to do that now what we are going to do now is migrate the data so it's really simple so we're going to do it now you know what let's do it in another video just keep it small short happy video number three coming up